what is going on beautiful people what is popping with you guys man we're in the crunch fitness parking lot you feel me today's leg day it's thursday march 2nd about to get it popping about to come in with some intensity because we're trying to build a stronger human being that's what i'm trying to do i hope you are too so you know we, we got the creatine and the glutamine powder too you know what i'm saying we ain't playing no games it with the pre-workout in the cup I'm, I'm, I'm coming with it um so i wanted to go talk to you guys about women in music and how women are over overly sexual specialized in the um in the music industry and it's not just the music industry it's acting and, and many other forms of entertainment women are just overly sexualized and you know this channel is about like like i said building a stronger human being and i feel like one of the major centers is like your mental health your mental health a and and b you know your emotional health besides you know physical of course um and i feel like if you're overly sexualized in your profession that's bad for your mental health you know um because for example in the the rap in the rap industry one of the biggest issues the women have like one of their biggest graps is they're like yeah i'm a nice rapper but there are a lot of male rappers that aren't as nice as me but i don't you know Nicki minaj is is was one of the greatest in my opinion one of the greatest rappers but people be sleeping on her and this isn't you know me being a zesty Nicki fan it's just hey bro i have two working ears okay <laughs> like she'd be she'd be really like giving bars for real for real that a lot of males just aren't like it is what it is but she was sexualized so heavily you know that it, it takes away from her credit in all honesty because you know that under call the dunk video she was just she was legit twerking right so it's like you know and it's, it's not to say that you can't you're less than because you choose to do that it's just distracting and it takes away it takes away from the music it takes away from the art um you know and it, it, it's sad and it's not just just like that in rap it's in, it's in acting and in, in movies and theater as well you know it's all forms of entertainment um and i think you know the the ones that aren't they are extremely talented they aren't you know very sexualized or they don't like have like a, a they don't expose themselves i'm gonna just say it, it is it is what it is i'm gonna just be real with you the ones that don't expose themselves um don't get as much shine one of my favorite musicians i'll name a couple alicia keys i feel like she's not as big as, as she should be she's a very talented woman um, her music is incredible. Another one, Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet, you know, she she be styling. You know, she got she got fits. Her music is incredible. She could play piano and sing at the same time. There aren't a lot of artists that can do that nowadays. But you know, the whole point is is that. It, I feel like the reason, you know, if she just started twerking on stage, her, you know, her clout and everything would go up, um, you know, and it is what it is, man. There are a lot of really good musicians or a lot of good female artists that just y'all be doing too much, man. You guys are talented, but it's like you're a musician. Keep making music, like put more effort in your performance visually without popping the titty out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it also hurts your credibility because then it's like you're not family friendly neither. So it's like you kind of like crush yourself three times you know so you hurt your public image you're not family friendly you know and and when i say family friendly like you know you Lil wayne can get some bars in and you really won't know what he's saying but like you know kids you kids won't kids won't be able to put two and two together but like visually they put two and two together immediately they know what shea butt shaking looks like you know they know what what popping a booby <laughs> looks like you know what i'm saying so i don't know man it's just something that makes me sad personally because there are i feel like women kind of uh set themselves back a little bit and this isn't me bashing on women this is just me giving my honest opinion um you know this is a question that was brought up um on reddit and i was like yeah man well it was more focused about on acting um you know they were talking about how like uh, famous actors will have to wear outfits that are like really revealing when like men never have to do that you know like um uh, it, it's pretty interesting or they're used for their youth and for their beauty um you know and 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 once their their looks um once their looks start to get older which everyone ages you know but once they get older they don't get as many callbacks you know which which is true you know but um i feel like that is a, is a different scenario i'm going to be honest with you because there's a lot more that goes into that as far as roles so it's it's not exactly the same but you guys get the point man um it's definitely a factor and it can hurt you you know e either way you slice it um but what do you what do you guys think what's your opinion on uh you know women being overly sexualized me personally right if you're butt shaking at a live concert bro and somebody throws money on you no one deserves that but you are on stage shaking your butt like a stripper 
if I came to see you see you rap and I came to see light shows, dancer dancers, a little bit of choreography, some creativity, some from the DJ, a vibe, you know, it's in a good stadium. You playing the, the, my favorite songs I like, you know. If we out here vibing, you all that can happen without you twerking and busting it down on stage. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real with you. Um, I hope that they change the narrative. One thing that makes me mad, though, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck, is that you see more black women doing this than white women. Like, you rarely see, like, white musicians wear these outrageous outfits, you know? And this is just me being honest. This is just me, my two cents, my opinion. This may be tone deaf because I'm a man, you know? And I'm, hey, let me know in the comments. Please like the video if you like this kind of uh, content. But this is just, I'm just being real with you. I'm an open-minded person, but I just think it takes away from your profession if you're butt naked or if you're shaking or gyrating. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what are we doing? Um, one person that's very talented, uh, that's up and coming right now, that's overly sexualized is Ice Spice, right? And you could be like, yeah, Ice Spice, um, she twerks in her videos and she's very, you know, she, she be getting freaky, right, in her music videos. And she does it on stage too, but it's kind of like to the point to where like you'll see it in her concerts to her twerk and it's almost like a safety mechanism if the concert isn't going well and people really aren't even listening to her music. And she got two good songs. She got two good songs out. I, I, I say three 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 four i like me personally i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna be running up like i'm the biggest munch you know i'm too old for that i'm 27 you know what i'm saying i'm old enough to be her uncle but <laughs> i'm stupid i'm an idiot but no you know saying but um you know i understand that she's doing all that inside her videos but i don't think she deserves you know people are literally scaring her at her concerts like when she starts shaking people have jumped over the fence to try to grab her but it's just too much man it's just too much um, you know, and I feel like that there needs to be a line for how we treat, uh, you know, musicians and celebrities in general. Being a celebrity's whack. You just have a job. Everyone got a job. Your job is just cooler than mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It pays a lot more. Hey, you know, let's keep it a buck. But everyone deserves their privacy. But, you know, with her situation is that it kind of her her exposure and her overall sexualization work heavily in her favor. Her rap career took off. If you can become a meme and, it, and you know, it, not only was she a meme. Her, she was you know she was there were cuts video cuts and reaction videos everywhere and her to her music so like people were still listening she was still dominating like the social media trend as far as the the tiktok sound and everything goes and people were listening she was popping on youtube but people are starting to like you know violate her personal space you know people aren't having boundary issues or having or having boundary issues i seen a couple interviews where like they were asking her questions but it was like just not about the music you know it just was not about the music it was about like when drake tried to sign her they thought that she was smashing drake it's like bro what about the music like what about the music what are you looking for in a man who cares i don't care about that i want to hear about her music i want to hear about her albums i want to hear about how she chooses beats i don't want to listen to this weird you know what i'm saying like personal like there needs to be boundaries bro and she 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 kind of gets you know metaphorically violated because they're asking her all these off the wall questions they're just sprinkled in for no reason and she'd be using it into her favor but it's like to what end you feel me like you're gonna be doing this forever you like you wanted you you want to do this forever but you don't want to have to answer stupid questions that aren't music related or performance related or you know about the art you know you don't want to have to keep you know playing the, the sex symbol you know and then it just gets weird it's just not a good look it doesn't look good and i feel like it, it does hurt your career it's distracting i feel like your career doesn't last as long because if she gets old and you know once you get old bro and there's nothing wrong with getting old everybody makes a big deal about aging once i get old i accept it as long as i uh, age gracefully but it's like once she gets old what what like is her music gonna last like is she gonna be able to perform those songs like i hope so i feel like she'll be eating off that munch song for like at least at least a good i'm gonna say 10 years you know i ain't gonna lie that song that song's a banger she got another one too i just can't rem i remember the lyrics in it, but and the beat i just don't know what the titles are but she got a few good songs but like you need like a couple good albums man you know what i'm saying and it's like it's hard for you to be like looked at as 
almost like is, is an icon that's like timeless like certain people you'll watch you know no, no matter how long their career's been over or how like watched like i could go to a nelly concert you know what i'm saying there's just certain artists that you once you have so many albums you're like almost goaded to the point to where you know you, you it lasts you know you don't want to have to be shaking your ass and and twerking and gyrating in your 30s and 40s you know to keep your music music career it makes me sad i don't like it and it's distracting and uh, from from the art and there are many other women that don't do that that deserve uh you know like that that uh that exposure you know that success like imagine if cardi b never imagine if cardi b never showed herself didn't have a bbl imagine if she was just a musician i feel like her her career would suffer the strip she had the ultimate cinderella story <laughs> the ghetto cinderella story she went from a stripper to a platinum the biggest artist ever that's a crazy turnaround and i'm not dissing her i'm just saying just imagine if she didn't use the sec her sexualization her her sexualization to to her advantage Ima imagine and you know in that in that specific scenario in which it doesn't always work out like that cardi b has had some longevity you know but there are only so many cardi b so many Nicki minajs but there's so many other artists that fall off once they get old once they get fat once something bad happens you know it's just i don't know i just feel like it's distracting me personally cardi b do got some bars too not discrediting her but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below man i'm about to go get this lift in you feel me it, this is just a conversation that i always wanted to have you know um would would things change if women weren't over sexualized you know in music would would people fall off or would would, would other people thrive it's an honest question how do women feel about this i wonder i'm about to start get my girl on this on this channel so i can ask her some of these questions because as a man i'm biased you feel me like of course it's nice to look at i'm not gonna say her in cap but like if you know if you take it away still are they still as popping i don't know let me know what you guys think leave a comment in the comment section below i'm about to go hit legs bro um, i'm still trying to build a better human being um you know as well and i want to bring this topic up today because i feel like this kind of affects our mental health because you know i feel like you know women the sexualization of women is both good and bad you know but it's like how damaging is it to our mental health you know and the only reason i say it's good is is because women could use it to their to work in their favor it's an advantage i, I ain't hating on the advantage you know or getting your paper you know it's an opportunity you know um but like once people are looking up to you you know like you got cardi b on the mcdonald which i'm gr gr i'm glad that they you know they definitely deserve deserve that i'm actually shocked mcdonald's made that cardi b an offset meal because cardi b used to be a stripper so it's like you have kids ordering the cardi b an offset meal you know how good is that to your for mental health i don't know man i i don't know uh it's a good question i uh, you know what the life is going south anyway the world's going down anyway i sound like an old head boomer even though i'm only 27 but it's it's real bro like people kind of lost their noodle um, or at least I wouldn't say they lost the noodle, but there are certain elements in our society that are normal. Um, they're, they're normalized and it's just OK. You know, it's kind of like the Twilight Zone out here. But keep your head on the swivel, man. Um, you know, just try to protect your, your mental health, uh, your spirit. as I call it be just being at peace, you know. Um, and then, yeah, try to build a better person, man. Try to do things that improve your life. Call your mama, tell her you love her. Call your brother, tell him you ain't mad at him no more. Um, you know, who, who knows, bro? Who knows? Call somebody, make things right. You know, try that restaurant. Try to eat at that restaurant you always wanted to eat at. You know, get that car you always wanted. At least test drive it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great year. I'm about to go hit legs. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Take it easy. Peace.